With the country mired in one of its worst economic crises in decades, voters in Argentina will choose between two contrasting visions in Sunday's presidential election. Far-right libertarian Javier Milei is often compared to former US President Donald Trump. The self-described anarcho-capitalist promises to slash public spending, ditch the country's currency and abolish the central bank. He has tapped into deep discontent with the country's economy and with the ruling political class. We are in such a bad situation right now that I have no option other than to vote for an alternative. Millet's opponent is the current economy minister, Sergio Massa. Despite triple-digit inflation and the economic crisis, he proposes a broad coalition government to avoid the type of shock austerity measures proposed by Millet. We will vote for Massa because we believe workers' rights must be protected and not taken away. There is growing tension ahead of Sunday's vote, with politicians and activists reporting they've received online threats. This includes the President of the Chamber of Deputies in Congress. And this week, Millet's camp claimed there was, quote, colossal fraud in the first round of voting. Argentina's elections are playing out across the region. Latin American conservatives, including former Chile president Sebastián Piñera and the Nobel Prize winning novelist Mario Vargas Llosa have lent their support to the libertarian Javier Milei. Elsewhere, Mexico and Brazil's presidents Andrés Manuel López Obrador and Luis Ignacio Lula da Silva both support the Peronist Sergio Massa. With rising poverty levels and one of the highest inflation rates in the world, analysts say the stakes here could not be higher. We are more than uh, almost 12 years with stagflation, no growth and high inflation. Uh, and every time things are getting a bit worse, I'm a bit optimistic that we can still avoid, for example, another hyperinflation uh, or another uh, sharp fall of the, of the GDP. But it depends on a good economic policy of the next elected president. A day ahead of the vote, many Argentines are still undecided between the two candidates. Who they ultimately choose may tip the balance in what many see as the most consequential presidential election since Argentina's return to democracy 40 years ago. Joel Richards for CGTN in Buenos Aires.